robotics at Immaculata High School is part of an organization called FIRST, F-I-R-S-T, and it is a program that allows uh, young students to engage in science, technology, engineering, and math in a real-world situation. So every year the FIRST organization creates a game for the robots to play, and all the teams around the country and around the world, for that matter, are told at the same time what that game is. Uh, we then have uh, approximately eight weeks to design, build, program, and test a robot to play the game. We then go to competitions at local high school gyms to compete against uh, anywhere up to like 35 other teams, and the competitions are a blast. It's like a, like a NCAA kind of tournament where every team gets a certain number of matches they have to play, and then the te teams that do the best at the end of those matches advance to a playoff round. Um, and as far as the, um, what we do during the year, uh, we have young students working with adult mentors who teach them how to use tools, how to use those tools safely. We talk about designing, building, programming. So all those things are part of our team. So you don't have to have any experience at all to join the robotics team. You may have never turned a screwdriver or a wrench in your life. Uh, and you can still join the robotics team. We will teach you everything you need to know. Um, as far as uh, we have a bandsaw, we have a drill press, we have uh, electric hand drill, and we have obviously all kinds of hand tools. We will teach you everything you need to know how to operate those, those tools safely. Uh, we also uh, use Java programming to program our robots. So if you're interested in learning Java programming, we can teach you that. Uh, we certainly have a need for uh, CAD for people to help us design the robot. So I know there's a, there's a CAD class here at school, so you could take a CAD class and um, take that knowledge from your CAD class and, and um, you know, come over to the robotics team and help us out. So no experience necessary. We'll teach you everything you need to know. As far as what you get out of robotics, so you're working on a team, you're collaborating with other people, you're meeting deadlines, uh, you're fixing problems, troubleshooting what went wrong and how to make something better. Uh, when we go to our competitions, um, the, w the way the format works is you don't compete head-to-head -head with just one other team. It's always three robots against three robots, so there's a randomly generated match schedule um, for, for the first round of the competition. Um, every team that gets to play 12 matches, so sometimes you might be with one team, uh, with two other teams, and other, another match you might be against them. So you have to cooperate with uh, students from other teams who you've never met before. So you have to learn to get along with people and, and interact with people because you never know when you might be uh, competing with them on your team again in the future. So there's a lot of real world experience that you'll learn from participating in robotics. It's a great thing to have on a college resume. It's something employers look for as well. And finally, there's a lot of scholarship money available. A lot of schools offer scholarship money to students who've participated in robotics. So there's a lot of good reasons to participate in robotics. Um, this year's robot is actually last year's robot. So last year's game was called Infinite Recharge. And the game involved um, picking up these yellow balls. They were called um, power cells, picking, up, picking them up off the ground and shooting them into a goal that was uh, eight feet off the ground. Um, so we designed our robot. There's an opening in the frame. We had an elevator with that uh, orange poly cord that would um, deliver the power cells to this chute. And then our shooter was down here, two sets of counter-rotating wheels. When we wanted to shoot, we'd turn these wheels on and there was a little uh, motor down here with a wheel that would feed the balls in one at a time. So boom, 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 boom. We'd shoot the five power cells out and then we'd go get five more power cells. I've only got three in there staged right now, but we could carry up to five. Uh, how to get involved in robotics at Immaculata. Simply come by room 421 and uh, say hello, introduce yourself to me, uh, Mr. Kadersha, or you can send me an email, akadersha at immaculatahighschool.org. Uh, if you have any preconceived notion of what a robotics competition might be like, it's probably wrong. When you come to a robotics competition, it is a blast, it's a lot of fun.